How's it going everybody? Tyler and Sam here and we're back here with some I guess you could call this some fall to winter transition fishing. Definitely. Yeah so we're going after some rainbow trout today. Today we're kind of our backs are up the wall and we're against a little bit of a time pressure today so we kind of derped around the house a little bit yeah. today and uh, got a really really late start so we're here for the evening bites and yeah. there's probably about two hours left of sunlight. So <laughs> it's gonna be a rush. <laughs> yeah, so we're pressure's on. Hopefully we can get some fish. Um, as you saw in the title, it's gonna be a catch and cook today, and it's gonna be fire roasted trout. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be really yummy. So yummy. First things first, though, we gotta catch some trout first. Yeah. So let's get into it and stop wasting time. We got two hours, so wish us luck. Oh, nice. Nice, Sam's on, guys. Do you have your net? Pressure's on and Sam's performing. Let's see if I can get a fish. Sam's got the bubblegum net on Gary Yamamoto. So it's HD natural does in here. You got any more bites? Got one. Nice size rainbow. Got him. So that's a fatty. And he unhooked himself, sweet. Yeah, that's a real fat one, guys. Oh, wow, Maze, that is a big one. This thing's been eating good. Can't believe I went for that natural. Yeah, really pretty. Big fatty. Look at that fatty, guys. Awesome. All right, cool, well. Yeah. Neither of us got skunked, and yeah. we still got a little bit of time, of course, so. So let's get another one or two. Yeah. Got one. Oh, whoa, never mind. I got a crayfish. A big one, too. Well, I mean, I could keep this for a catch and cook, guys, but. <laughs> crayfish, guys. Oh, he's trying to pinch at me. <laughs> Get him back in the water. There you go, buddy. He pinched the uh, thing and tried to pull on it. The micro minnow. And I hooked him through his claw. Well, that doesn't tell you how sensitive this medium light power is. Jeez. Felt that little, little crayfish pinch. Sam, Sam looks like she just got one over there on her, she said her last cast. Right as the storm's rolling in. Sam's, of course, behind the camera. And we got the four trout, the three rainbow trout, and that snake river cutthroat, of course, there on the last cast. Really fun. So we're going to skip over the clean portion. Comment below if you guys want to see that, but there's a thousand videos out there of cleaning your trout, and it's one of the simplest fish to clean. So comment below if you want to see that. Otherwise, we just skipped over that today. When we were cleaning these trout, however, all these trout, they were just filled to the brim with a lot of fathead minnows. It was crazy. They were just bulging out of them. That snake river cutthroat had a couple copping up as we caught it, too. For all four trout, we're gonna have the lemon and the thyme in there, but two of the trout, we're gonna do a salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon, pepper, and garlic powder seasoning mixture. And for the other two trout, we're gonna be using this Hawaiian seasoning mixture that my older sister got me when she was in Hawaii. 
This has premium Hawaiian sea salt, garlic, chili pepper, food grade activated charcoal, and natural hickory smoke. So that'll be interesting. Never had anything like that on a trout before. We're gonna be putting these on here, wrapping them up in tin foil, give you guys a little bit of a montage and we'll be throwing them in the fire. So stay tuned. So for the first one, doing some salt here. Ground black pepper. Small amount of lemon pepper, okay? We don't wanna do too much because we got a whole lemon in there. It's a little bit of garlic powder. Now we'll be adding the lemon wedges. These are some pretty thick fillets. So you can add a whole like that, or you can cut it in half, depending on how big the fillet is. Looks like I'm kind of running out of room there, so I will be cutting a couple of these in half. Slide those guys in. Now remember, we're wrapping this up in tin foil. Last step, we'll of course be adding a couple things of thyme here. What you'll be doing is just adding a couple of these sprickets, I guess we'll call them, and just put them right in there. And that's how we're gonna be doing these first set. All right, I'm gonna wrap this guy up. Pretty simple process. Fold it up like here. And then just fold it over. Real simple, real easy. Make that as tight as we can get it there. Then we'll be sticking that whole thing into the fire. So let me show you how we're gonna be doing the ones with the hot lava salt. All right, moving on to the hot lava Hawaiian sea salts mixture. So pour that into this cup first so I don't get my fishy fingers over everything. It's pretty interesting stuff. After I sprinkle a decent amount of this in here, I'll probably just be rubbing some on the meat, make sure I spread that all around. Now that we have the Hawaiian mixture in here, of course, we put in the lemons. Got some thyme here. Stuff that in there. Boom, there we have it. I'm gonna wrap this guy up too, get the other two done, then we'll meet you guys about at the fire. All right, we're out here at the fire, enjoying a nice evening. Um, as you can see, we got our coats and sweaters and stuff on. It's probably about what? Oh, it's um, probably about 32 degrees. Around there. Yeah, low 30s, mid 30s right now. Definitely. But with the fire, everything seems really nice. So as you guys saw, we have the fire going and everything, and we're just getting these coals ready for the for the fish. We got regular fire starter wood you can get at your Walmart or City Market in there. And we also got some big chunks of apple wood in there as well. Yummy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe add a little bit to the smoke flavor. So we're gonna put these trout on the coals. They shouldn't take too long, probably about 10, 15 minutes each. And then we're gonna be taking them out and showing you what we got. We'll be doing a taste test, of course, comparing the two seasonings. So stay tuned guys, and let's get ready for some delicious trout. That skin to stick right there. All right, so guys, that trout looks pretty amazing. Let's get into the taste test. We're gonna try the uh, salt and pepper one first. All right, here we go. Mm. That's always so good. That is amazing. Simple, but delicious. It's like campfire trout, guys. <laughs> That's what that tastes like. Mm. Mm -hmm. Simple and delicious, just like Sam said. God, that is so good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get into the next one, guys, the Hawaiian seasoned salt one. Oh, got a whole bunch of time with that. <laughs> I'm having difficulties. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So now the Hawaiian salt. Oh, I really like that. That's different. Mm hmm that's really delicious though, really tangy. Yeah. Wow, that's it, really good. Yeah, I'm has, so terrible at describing flavors, guys. It's tangy, a little sweet. Yeah, it has like a slight hint of that chili pepper to it, mm -hmm. um, but it's not too overpowering. It's super delicious. I really like that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. so 
Win-win either way. <laughs> Super good, fire roasted trout. So we're gonna throw the other two in here. Just wanted to do the taste test with these two. We got some rice and stuff cooking in there for dinner. But hope you guys enjoyed the fishing. Hope you guys enjoyed the cooking. Make sure you hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, until next time, Team Cops signing out. Bye.